Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I have my Hobonichi order to share with you. This is from the Hobonichi 1101 store in Japan. It's my first order from the Hobonichi store. My Hobonichi's last year came, let's see, my cousin came from a sweet subscriber that sent it to me because she wasn't going to use it. My Weeks came from Amazon and my A6 original came from Amazon too. So last year I did not have to order from the Hobonichi store, which I would rather not pay the shipping. But this year what I wanted right now when I wanted it was not available on Amazon or JetPens. JetPens is a great site to order Hobonichi and Jubin Techo. Um, I might be saying that one wrong, but it's a great site to order the Japanese planners from and pens and many other items, but they didn't have what I wanted. So try those avenues first before you pay for shipping. I will link jet pens down below and then you know you can check Amazon. I did get one of my Hobonichis from Amazon this time, but let's look at my order. I have never gotten one of these boxes before and I did not know that I had to be home to sign for it from USPS. And so I missed the day of shipment and I had to wait like three more days for it to come. And I filled out the online form saying that I waived signing for it and they could leave it on my front porch, but they still did not leave it. They still wanted my signature. So that is a warning to you guys if you're ordering from the Hobonichi store. Here's what your box looks like. This is wrapped in kind of like a white paper. And then on the back is a really big Hobonichi word written. And then on the front is just your mailing label. But I like that the box stays pretty inside that white paper. This is their 20th anniversary, I guess. So that's pretty cool. I don't usually keep any boxes, but I'll probably keep this one for just a little bit out in the garage because it's kind of cool. And I don't know when the next time I'll be ordering from the store is again. Because hopefully next year I will plan ahead and will order from Jet Pens and won't have to pay the shipping, but we'll see. I did get the cool pens that come free from the Hobonichi store. So you open your box and they have a little quote, which they translated to English too. And I really appreciate that. Don't ever lose hope. It's far too important. You know how a pinch of salt changes the whole flavor of a dish? Your hope is that salt. That's just a little Hobonichi quote. Then their box opens this way, which I just think it's a really smart box. I got some covers. I'm going to take this out and it's just, it's just wrapped in brown paper. So I'm going to take it out. So everything was just wrapped in brown paper. The inside of the box is all white. I love that. It's actually a really pretty box, you guys, with like nothing dirty on it or anything. I think I'm going to have to keep this box for a little while in my office closet here because I'm kind of liking it. And it's gonna be easy to be a fold down flat box. I can see that. I'll easily be able to pop it out and store it flat if I want to. Before I unwrap everything, I'm just gonna go through and show you everything I got. And then I will unwrap it and I'm gonna get into it myself and then film another day, go through it in detail, piece by piece. But this is just my unboxing before I get into it myself. I got a pin with this order and every year, sometimes they have like a little trinket with it. This year it's a not so scary bear, I think they called it, but we'll get into that. And I've never tried the Hobonichi pin. And this year it's a really pretty pin because it has a really pale pink, it's pretty. This is my Weeks cover, which is just a really cheap, I think it was about $5. I got it because if the pin holder works, that will be worth it for me on the Weeks itself. I tried this little A6 weekly booklet. It's a companion to you know their A6 daily original book. We'll talk more about that in the video, but this was very cheap and since I was already doing a big order and pay for shipping, and I was really curious about this and wanted to be able to show it to you guys, so I threw that in. I got a Weeks, which also came with a pen, so I got two of the pens, which I'm pretty excited about. I've heard people really like them. I know they're just ballpoint, I think, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe they're gel pen. I don't know about them. I'm excited. You know what, guys? Like I said last year, I got mine from Amazon, but it's pretty exciting getting this order from Japan. And it was pretty fun picking a cover from their site, too. I got the Navy Weeks. They were completely sold out everywhere of the Weeks for calendar year that were not mega. I didn't want the mega weeks with all the extra pages because I really didn't feel like I wanted it that thick. 
I wanted the normal weeks like I had last year. I did not want all the extra pages. So I had to get the April start. So I can't start using this till April, which is several weeks away because we're just, I mean, we're like on March 4th today. I think the day this came is March 4th. So that's kind of a bummer. But they did not, I would have gotten the calendar year, but they did not have the calendar year except in Mega anywhere. Jet pins, Amazon, it's their April start. So in case you don't know, Hobonichi has two different starts. They do their calendar year release on September 1, 2, and 3. They stagger that calendar year release on September 1, 2, and 3 now so they don't have such a traffic problem on their site. That's what they said. And they don't tell you right now, it's not listed on their site, what they release on what day. So I don't know, but if you want something that releases not till the last day, then you just have to wait and order until the third. But I think most of the time they don't sell out of stuff. That's just to slow their site traffic down. So their calendar year stuff is released, you know, in a certain order on September 1, 2, and 3. And then their April start, that's their other start, their April start, April 1st start is released February the 1st. That's just something to know if you're new to Hobonichi. If you're new to Hobonichi, I will try to give you all kinds of information later in this video because I just learned about Hobonichi last year and I do have a Hobonichi playlist kind of showing you my first Hobonichi, the cousin that I got last year that one of my sweet subscribers sent me and you can see my first reaction to it and I'm just not sure about it and I'm learning all about it. So that's all under my Hobonichi playlist. Also how I ended up loving it and ordering the weeks and then the A6 original English version for my quotes last year that I show on Instagram. So that's all under my Hobonichi's playlist. If you want to find out more about how I fell in love with it and used it last year, I will link that playlist down below in this description. If you're on Instagram, come and join me at Amanda's Favorites. That's where I show up every day. We have a great community there. I can really get to know you guys there. And I'd really love to have you on Instagram there with me. I check in there daily and I tell and show all kinds of updates about when my orders come, how I'm planning right then. It's where you can get the full scope of everything going on on the day to day. Then I ordered the cousin like I had last year, but last year I had the cousin all in one book. This time I ordered the cousin in the Avec, which is two books. So it's January through June and then July through December. I just thought I would try it being split up and see how I felt about it being less weight and in two books. I just wanted to try it this way this year. I have several ideas for how I'm going to be using these in my life this year. And I will tell you about those later in the video. Then I got, I had never bought a Hobonichi cover. I picked out this really pretty one. It was hard to decide. There were maybe one or two. I liked maybe a teeny bit better than this one, but they were a lot even more money. So I decided that I liked this one enough. I was gonna go with it. And I really like the beautiful pen holders, but I will unwrap it and show it to you in detail. Then I bought a holder cover because these are really cheap and I didn't know if I would wanna use it or not. So since I was ordering from the store. I just threw it in. I didn't know if I would want to use it or not, but I threw it in. So I'm going to unwrap all this and then I'm going to kind of play with it myself and get it set up, test out the pins, and I will be back to run through it all with you. I will also talk about in this video, I got the Avec system in the A6 original this year for my quotes. I thought I was going to go the whole year not doing quotes, but then People really like the quotes and I like doing the quotes too. I started writing the quotes like in a simplified planner, but it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't right. I decided I had to go back to Hobonichi for the quotes. Last year I used the English version, but this year I really wanted to try the Japanese version in the Avec and the two books. And so far I'm really liking it. So we're gonna talk about all these sizes, all these books, What's different? We'll talk about pencil boards. So if you're new to Hobonichi and you want all the details, I will give it all to you. I'm so excited to share this order with you. I was really excited for it to come. Here we are, you guys. All right, everything is unpackaged. I've taken off all the plastic. I don't wanna forget to show you guys some things that came with it. You get this Hobonichi pen. It is a ballpoint pen, it's not gel. And I didn't think I would like it at all. They list it as a 0.5 on their website, 
But let me tell you, it writes like a 0.38. I couldn't believe it was a 0.5. And then I read or heard somewhere that ink, uh, Japan ink runs like that. It runs a little bit different than American listing. So it's listed at 0.5, but it runs at a 0.38. This pen, after scouring their site, I don't think you can buy. It's one of those special offers if you buy your Hobonichi from their site. It came with my cousin and I got one with my weeks. So I'm really excited that I got two because I actually love it because the ink does not smear at all in uh, the Hobonichis on their special Tomei River paper. And it also, which I may not be saying the name of the paper right, I forgot to double check that before I got on here. I'm sorry, you guys. You can also buy ink refills on jet pens and jet pens sell similar pens. We're gonna have to get into all this. Here's a few other freebies. So you get a pen with each planner order, which I already said, I actually love the pen. It fits right in here. I'm gonna show you all about the cover and why I love it. And it comes with the blue, black and red ink, which I honestly thought, okay, these are the pens I used in fourth grade. I'm not gonna love this that much. I don't need one of these pens. But number one, I love how they made it look pretty with the light pink. And number two, I actually love it on the Hobonichi paper. So I'm sure I will be buying refills from Jet Pens when mine runs out. If I stay in the Hobonichi that long. I mean, I see myself staying in it right now, but who knows. They also had this free paperweight, which they call the Not So Scary Bear, which came with my order also, which, you know, is not something I really need. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. It's kind of weird. I don't get the not so scary bear thing, but that's okay. You get a railway map. I believe that came with the weeks. It's like a laminated railway map. And I don't really have a use for that either, but it's quite interesting. Whoa. I mean, they have a lot of railways in Japan. It comes with a little... Uh, comic my life thing and to find the Hobonichi store online it's actually called the 1101 store comes with this little teeny sticky pocket to go in your weeks um, I guess I'll stick that in my weeks I just haven't done it yet the Hobonichi Techo A6 what this is is last year I used the A6 the English version to write all my quotes in on my Instagram this is what I used last year so this is the same book, just one is in English, and that's the only cover you can get in English. One is the Japanese version. The Eng So I wrote all my quotes for Instagram in here last year. In this book, every page is black except for Sundays, and I'm not gonna go through this English version because I have a full review on my channel of this. I have a Hobonichi playlist, and I have a full run through of all my 2018 Hobonichis and how I use them. So I will link that down below for you guys. This is the English version right here. Every page is black except for Sundays is red. Then if you go into this Japanese version of the A6, and this is a pencil board. We'll talk about that too. The Japanese version, as you can see, it's in Japanese. The main differences are that it's in Japanese. Your quotes every day are in Japanese and your months change color, which they do not in the English version. So like January's red, February is a brownish color, um, March is a lavender color, April is a kind of nice pinkish color, May is a green, June is a dark green. So the color changes every single month. You can get the Japanese version. This is just called the Hobonichi Techo Original A6, because that's the size. You can get it in one book all together, just as I got the English version last year, in one book all together. But I wanted to try the two books this year, and I wanted to try the Japanese version for my quotes versus the English version. I don't love the cover on the English version, and I can't put a cover on my quote book because it just interferes with the pictures. So I just, I wanted to try this. I thought with quotes, it'd be easier also with a thinner book because, you know, obviously it's not as thick. So when you get to certain spots, you don't have to bend the page as much. I kind of miss the look of the English page going with my quotes right now, but we will see. Like I said, if you want a full look at this English Hobonichi book, which honestly does look like a little Bible, you can check out that video link down below. I will link my whole Hobonichi playlist down there. A6 original, what this is, we're gonna run through real quick. It is a daily diary book, babe basically, or a daily to-do list. You get a full view of a year at once. 
You get your full look at 2019, the year before 2018, and the year ahead 2020. And then you get one of my favorite things about Hobonichi. It is your entire year. Of course, the name of what it is get, has left my mind right now. But it is your entire year and they start you out in December. This is a calendar year. And it's like you can keep a record of either appointments if you want to, you know, or birthdays or anniversaries. But I kind of like to keep a record of something that happened on every day or just the main big things that happened that month. I use these more like a journal, not in my quote book here, but in my cousin that we'll get into. So they give you the whole year laid out kind of in this index form. And then you go into your monthly spreads. All your monthly spreads are up front. One glance for you. It starts in December. So they give you a month earlier. All Japanese holidays are in red. All Sundays are always in red. Saturdays are always in navy blue. And there is always a Monday start to their monthly layouts in all of the Hobonichis. You have this little grid. And I think I will put it in the video here what it is. I looked it up on their site. Their grid that they use is, and they even go into their site how they've changed that over the years. But here's kind of a close up look at what your monthly spread looks like in here. Now, you do get the days of the week written out there in English, as you can see, but Japanese characters are with it also. You get the month written out in English, and then you have the number of the month, you have the number of the week that you're on of the year right here, really lightly. You have your moon phases. And there's all your 12 months. Then you go into your daily pages after your 12 months. It says turning the page to a new year. And you have for each month, you have a page to kind of take notes on or journal on or make a list on. And their original are just daily pages. So let's take a look at one I have not written on. If you get a Japanese holiday, you're going to get some Japanese writing on the page like that. The whole month of January is in red. All the quotes are, of course, in Japanese. And here is the basic layout of the page. You have five boxes up here for however you want to use that. You have your hours of the day running down here and then kind of a thicker line dividing you right here. So if you wanted to use this for your schedule and then you wanted to use this for your to-do list, or many, many people use this A6 size book for more like journaling. They stick lots of pictures in it. They stick lots of cutouts. They use watercolor in it because it does not bleed through these, these pages. The Tomei River paper is kind of amazing. That's what makes these books so lightweight and so small is this paper. It does not bleed through but you get ghosting on everything. Everything shows through or ghosts as they say, but things do not bleed through. It takes watercolor, um, fountain pen. You can use all different kinds of things. In fact, I had been writing these quotes with fountain pen. That is fountain pen right there. And you can see it does not bleed through, but it definitely goes through. If you get the AVEC, the AVEC, all that means is it's divided into two. So you have January through June and July through December. It just makes what you're carrying around less hefty. For your months, they throw in the month before in here. So this is July through December, but they go ahead and throw in your month of June. This being your July through December, you get starting with the month of June on kind of this index yearly layout look at it. You get June through um, the first month of 2020. Ooh, actually, they take you into May of 2020. So you can start planning appointments and know what's coming up. So this, for your scheduling, would be really nice to have that. Wow. Okay, they give you through May. And if you'll notice here in the first book, which is only January through June, they give you all the way through the end of the year and even into month three of 2020 so you can plan appointments ahead of time. So even if you just had this little book with you, you still have a place to schedule ahead appointments and write things down for certain dates all the way until March of 2020. These little books also come with similar features of the cousin. So um, we're not going to go through it very extensively, but it has a timetable right here. You have some graph paper. You have a list where you could list favorites for music, eating out, movies, whatever you want to list there. You have 12 boxes right here that you could use in any way you want to. Of course, it could be the 12 months of the year, 
but however you want to use them. And then you have some pages with a lot of Japanese writing on them and pictures and many other pages which I wouldn't be able to use for anything. You have a gifts page, right? You have addresses, personal notes, and that is the end. And you have a little stamp in the back of every Hobonichi. The covers are really well made. I can't tell you that somehow these books don't come apart no matter how much abuse you give them. They lay flat. They don't come apart. The paper feels so thin and yet it holds up so well. There's some kind of magic in here. Before we get into my cousin for this year, I want to show you this cousin from last year. This cousin from last year was my very first Hobonichi that I ever got. Someone, one of my sweet subscribers, mailed this to me after she bought it and decided that she wasn't going to use it. She asked me if I wanted it, and I was like, sure, I'd love to do a review on it. I'd love to see a Hobonichi because I had heard so much about them. I didn't really think it was for me for planning. I, it didn't seem like something I would use, but I definitely wanted to have it in my hands and take a look at it, and she was so sweet to mail it to me. All year, I played with it in a million different ways, and I fell in love with Hobonichi from this cousin. So this is the cousin if it's all kept in one book and if you tape a lot of things in it, which a lot of people do. Some people's gets really fat like this fat because it's used for journaling. The cousin is a magical book because it has monthly, daily, and weekly layouts for an entire year in this book. And if I didn't tape anything in here, it would be much, much thinner. This is your A5 size. And if you get... If you get the Avec, then your book is this small before you start using it or taping anything in it so you can see. I mean, it's tiny. You're like carrying around nothing and you're like you have daily, weekly, and monthly pages. If you get the full book, you can either get a January start or they do an April start. So that's the difference in the normal cousin and the cousin Avec. The Avec, though, does not come in their April start. So you can't buy the Avec in an April start. It only comes in a January start, of course, because you have January through June and then July through December. The cover says it fits whether you buy the Avec. There's no separate cover. So your cover is, you know, has plenty of extra room if you're not buying the full size book. But that's okay with me. I personally don't like to stick the front of the cover in here, although you can. Because then I feel a bumpity bump when I'm writing up here with these pockets. I wish you had a choice not to come with these pockets. But, you know, there isn't. Because I personally don't need to stick things in there. And I would like it to be flat for my writing and not have this, this lovely thing here. I mean, it does give you an extra pocket in there too. And then you have an extra pocket here if you're not going to stick your front cover in there. And like I said, I don't stick my front cover in there. There is not a band to keep it shut. Their covers, they have many beautiful cover choices. Their covers, you're supposed to be able to stick your pen on it and your pen keeps it shut. And it really does. Your pen keeps it shut. And I really love the pen holders on there. How they just put the gray and yellow in there. There is a pocket on the back, which actually could hold quite a bit. If you wanted to carry around like your weeks with you, your Hobonichi Weeks actually fits in that pocket in the back, like perfectly. This is, it's hard to explain. It's a material cover, but it feels like if you get anything on it, you know, you can wipe it. It's not plastic, but it feels like it's, you know, coated in something that it's not gonna absorb everything. I have chosen not to put the plastic cover on the outside. I got the plastic cover, and I will kind of show you how it looks on here if you guys are interested. I'm sure there are some people who are, because I was. They make it really well. There's how your book slides in. It's like, it's made so well. I can just say in Japan, they just make things different than America. Everything is so tidy and neat. And in their packaging too, everything was so tidy and neat. And it's a feeling of everything is just so. And boy, I really like that. You just can slide it in here like this and it just protects your cover. Now, if I was someone who was carrying my planner around with me, you know, everywhere all the time, throwing it in a dirty bag every day, I could see myself wanting to use this cover. So once it's on there, there, it really does lay well. And it's just, it's a plastic guard. Some of their plastic covers come with writing and drawings on it, which is actually really cool. If you get a plain cover, like without flowers, then your drawing or whatever on the plastic cover can shine through. 
since I am just at home and I'm not going to be throwing it in a bag for the most part, and even if I was, I'm really not that worried about it. Oh, let me show you this. So on the back, so that you can access your pocket, they put a zipper thing in here. So you could still access your pocket from the back with the plastic cover. It doesn't add a lot of bulk. It really doesn't. And it just, it opens like that. You can still access all your pockets, all your pen holders. It's lovely that way. Since I'm just at home, I would rather be handling my cover and not be handling plastic. I'm really happy with the feel of the cover, the craftsmanship of the cover, that type of thing. And I would say if you leave your planner open a lot like I do, think about what the inside color showing is of your cover because that is actually what you're gonna see the most. Your cover also comes with these two ribbon page markers, which I love because they are so helpful. You can stick one on the week you're on one on the day you're on and look each one has a different shape so you can memorize you know like the day I'm on is a triangle the week I'm on is a square or rectangles but I love how they put those on there pencil boards in case you don't know one of my sweet subscribers sent me these pencil boards actually last year she was just like I'm making a Hobonichi store order and I noticed you have you know all three Hobonichis but you don't have any pencil boards and I would love to order some for you because they're they're not that expensive, but she was so sweet. She wouldn't let me pay her for them or pay for shipping or anything, and she mailed them to me. And what they can help you do, not only they can mark your page, of course, because they have it today, but this paper is thin. And if you don't want your, I don't know what you call them, indentions from your pens to be going through to the next page, and you want something a little harder to write on, you can stick this right there, and you have a nice, flat surface to write on and no indentions going through. That's a really nice thing to have with any of your Hobonichis. If you're ordering and you think you might want one of those, throw them in since they're not that expensive. Then I just used a little post-it tab to mark the month that I'm on and to mark the year at a glance look. So the year at a glance here, I'm just writing big things that happen that month. And then I am writing out things that happen each day that so I can kind of just mark and remember that day or big important things like when my son started a certain medicine. I didn't start in here until March. I am actually trying this out for my planning along with Trello. I just did a video on how much I'm loving Trello for like my basically my daily lists and for my content planning lists. This would be my overview kind of like, so I don't have to write down everything on my day. I basically look at my Trello list. And so my days don't get looking so crazy like they used to because I'm not having to scratch out and move a million things around because I can use Trello for that. Trello is an online app that you can use on your computer, on your phone. It is free. It's kind of an online project organizing list organizing app. And I will link that video down below. It's one of my new favorite things. I have also tested a whole bunch of mild liner colors in here just in January, and I kind of decided which color I wanted to use for which month. If you don't know, mild liners are just a highlighter. They come in some mild colors, but they also come in some pretty bright colors. You can buy them on Amazon. You can even buy them in Target now. They come with two ends, which I really like because one is a little bit smaller end that you can underline with or circle with, and then one is your thicker, typical highlighter angled end. What I've been doing is choosing one color per month. See how I kind of assigned those out? This light blue is March. I've been keeping it just on here with me around the house and keeping this pin in here. And that way it's just, I always have my highlighter for that month, that month's color, and my writing utensil there. Also, people use their daily pages as kind of like note taking and then they can index it on this first page of the month. So I was writing like Trello hacks and what notes did I take on morning pages? So what date did I take those notes on? So I can go back and be able to find them. So you can write what dates you took specific notes on if you want on the first day of every month. These don't have to be used for daily lists. They can be used for daily journaling. They can be used for just note taking when you need extra room like that. So those are some ideas. They do end up being my daily list. So I look at my Trello and I start picking out the things I'm gonna do first or the things I think I really have to get done that day and places I have to go 
or any timed appointments, I'll put here and then just my list here, but they won't match up with the times. And if you'll notice, this is a 24 hour time right here. So these are little squares. This is a 24 hour time going on military time right here. If you want to use this for time blocking or really writing appointments at the exact certain time, then you have that time schedule outlined right there for you. You have five boxes up top. I've just been writing my temperature. I actually don't like using that area a whole lot. I don't know. My mind doesn't go to look there. I'm just experimenting because I played around with it a lot last year, but I'm actually really devoted to trying it out right now. I was trying out coloring in my boxes with red when they're done. Then I just tried to do check off because I'm always someone who wants to cross through. But on these pages, the more you cross through, just the more, you know, ghosting you get on the next day. I have also been having fun with using washi tape in here. I had washi tape before, but I didn't use it in my planners. This one I've got kind of a kink in. I didn't use it in my planners because it just, I didn't. I mean, I still have my Erin Condren Weekly and I'm still writing everything in that laid out on my kitchen desk while I'm trialing this out because that's kind of always been my guiding light. But that one's so pretty. I mean, all I did was add a few Erin Condren seasonal stickers and I definitely just, I didn't need to washi it all up. Hobonichi screams for some washi tape. I placed my first Simply Gilded washi order and fell in love with her store. She has the most beautiful washi tape. And that's where all this washi tape is from. I do have a link down below in the description box if you want to take a look at Simply Gilded. If you place your first order, it's $5 off your first order of $15 or more from her shop. Really beautiful washi. And I think it adds so much to a planner like Hobonichi that just looks very manly, very office-like, very stark to me. I think it adds a lot to it. March, I assigned, like I said, light blue highlighter. So April, I did purple. And May, I did pink. And June, I did green. And I haven't added any washi yet. Up here, you have the same thing I showed you in the A6 book. You get 2019, 2018, and 2020. I don't know why I would ever look back at 2018. I rarely look at these because I'm always looking on my phone for something like this. I just love this because I feel like this layout of the whole year can be used in so many different ways. And every Sunday is red on here. Also, every Japanese holiday is a little bit lighter red. And then every Saturday is navy blue. And then you have your whole year. And so what I started putting down here were appointments that I knew we already have. So once you go through that little index of your whole year, they give you December, and then it's for the calendar year of 2019. And in this first book, it's January through June, but they do give you through July in your monthly layouts. And then you start in your weekly layouts. And your weekly layouts, even though they do give you the whole calendar month of December, your weekly layouts do not start until January. And this is what your weekly layout looks like. So let's let's take a look at one of these weeks. They give you your whole month and they circle the week you're on. You have your month written out, the number of your month. It tells you you're on the sixth week of the year. The year you're in, you have your 24-hour schedule, a lot more spread out in every hour numbered here. So it starts you up here at 5 a.m. and you end down here at 4 a.m. You have some room up here if you want to write um, like somebody's birthday or if you want to use it for the weather or your workout, whatever you want to use that for. I've been using this little area to check off when the day's over because I'm someone who likes to check off or cross out when a day is over. Those all your monthlies. And if you were getting the cousin all in one book, you know, it's all your monthlies. Then it goes all your weeklies and then it goes into all your dailies. And your dailies, it's pretty easy to find your month because you can see how they have the coloring right there on the tab. So you can flip and find what month you're on pretty easily. I love how every month is a different color. I do, however, wish they were brighter, more happy colors. So with the color of the month, the color of the grid changes. Whatever color that month is, every single thing on that page is in that month's color. Back, you have the same type of pages that you had in the a six version, except you do get some notes pages. You have five or six 
grid note pages, which I don't really even have to have in this book because you have a page for every single day that you can take notes on and even a page at the beginning of every single month. Saturday is kind of colored in, so it stands out from the other days of the week, and so is Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday are colored in. You have your moon phases. You have the month, the day you're on. At the bottom of your page, you have circled what two days those are in the monthly spread. So you always have a monthly spread to look at right there. So the weeks I ordered for content planning for me to try out. We'll see how it works out. Last year, I played around in my weeks a lot for different things. And I never just stuck with it and used it for any one thing last year. But I loved having it to play around with. The Weeks is a book that you have your whole week on a horizontal on your left-hand side of the page, and then you have a right-hand side of your page for notes. Then you have a bunch of note pages at the back. I think like, let's see, and you have an index. You have an index, and then all your note pages are numbered, which I love, all the way up to 73 note pages. So you get a really good chunk of note pages. If you need a huge amount of note pages, they do sell a week's mega. And I think that's with something like triple the note pages. I didn't want the mega. I didn't want my book to be thicker. I didn't want it to be harder to stay open. And I didn't need more note pages than this. This year, I'm going to try to do my rough sketch of like my content planning every week in here. We'll see. We'll see if I stay with it. And then I take that and put it in Trello every week. But this is just kind of like my sketch out type of thing before I start typing into Trello so I can just kind of see like visually just really quick right here, what does the week look like? What video is going up? And what are my ideas for the week? So that's how I envision using this. This planner lends itself to be used in so many different ways because of the layout. Something to note though, is this is cream paper in the weeks. I don't love the cream paper nearly as much as the white paper in the Cousin. So in the cousin and the, sorry, this is my cousin from last year, but it's the same. And in the A6 original has white paper. So you can really tell right here when these pages are right next to each other. Look at that. White paper, cream paper. So there's a huge difference. And I really prefer the crisp white paper. I really wish they would put white paper in the weeks. I don't know why they don't because I think my eyes would be a lot more attracted to the weeks. On the weeks, you have a moon phase every single day. You have your day of the week written in English. Every Sunday is red. Every Japanese holiday will also be red on there. A quote at the bottom in Japanese. You have a look at your month at the bottom of every week and circled what week you're on. I think that's a really nice touch. You also have these nice little what I call magic dots. If you can see those, on those dots, you have two sets you can divide your box into three different columns if you want to. So those dots will just help guide your little six inch ruler down there. So that's a nice little thing. The dots don't stand out to you, but it's there if you want to divide it. There are no colors in this book. So the same, just it's gray. Sundays are red and the holidays are red. You could use this for meal planning or using it for gratitudes. My sister did that, I believe, last year for quite a while. So writing like a gratitude every day and then, or something that stood out every day, you know, something that she was grateful for, and then a summary kind of journal as the week went on, journaling for the week. So then you have your whole week, like your gratitudes and your journaling. It can also be used, of course, for planning. <laughs> Just plan your schedule and your weekly to-do list right here. It comes with two little ribbons, which is so helpful, one on your week and one on your month. So it does come with monthly layouts. Here's your end pages, and it's kind of a thicker card stock. Okay, you get 2019, you get 2018 and 2020. Then here is your look at your entire year. Oh, I didn't mention this week's is an April start. So it's spring start. It's their April start. You get your entire 12 months till next March. It's their spring start. This is your entire year in one two-page spread. I mean, how amazing is that? You can see your entire year in one two-page spread. And some lines up here that you could write anything important or keep track of things. So there's just, there's so much you could do with that. Then you go into your months and it gives you one month early. So I just started writing my videos that I knew were coming out. It starts you in March, even though it's an April start. And then you have all your months, and then you have your Sundays in red, 
and your weekends in Navy, the same pattern as the cousin and the original. And then down here at the bottom, you have room for some notes down here and four tick off boxes. You have room for some notes over here. You will not find a smaller, little, more compact, lightweight book. This cover is a material color cover. This is their navy color. The material feels good. It's it's a little bit bendable, but very tough. I kept mine in my purse all year last year, and I actually kept like a material hairband around this to keep it shut and stuck my pen in the hairband, and that worked perfect. But since I'm using it for content at home this year, I don't really need to keep it like that. I ordered the cover because it was less than $3. I wanted to see if I would want to use it for only for the pen holder aspect because I knew I didn't need a cover to protect it because I'm not super someone who's like, oh, if my cover gets ruined, you know, something on it, I'm going to be upset because I'm not. I expect to use a planner and for things to happen to it. So the cover is really nice. It feels nice. The pen holder does not function that great in my opinion. I don't really need to mess with that since it doesn't. I mean, I guess if I used it a lot, it would probably stay open. But right now I have to like work at it every time I want to stick something in it. So it doesn't just, it doesn't go in like the material cover. And this pin gets stuck. So I would just have to hook it on the outside. And so the only reason I bought this cover was to have a pin with it. And since the pin holder is not functioning right for me, I'm not gonna be using this cover right now. What people have been doing is putting a little Velcro dot here and a little Velcro dot on this. I haven't even popped mine out and I really don't want it flapping, so I don't wanna pop it out right now, but you pop that out and then you can put a little Velcro dot on the inside of that and a little Velcro dot back here and it will keep it shut in your bag. There is a little pocket in the cover and there is a little pocket back here. And then like I said, the Hobonichi also comes with a little stick on pocket but you wouldn't be able to access it if your cover was on. So that's nice that they gave you that little pocket. That's your weeks. It's an amazing, amazing little compact book, you guys. Now I ordered this because I had never seen it. It was only a couple dollars and I thought I would want to see it and show it to you guys. What they made this book for is a companion to, you know, the original, the A6, because there's no weekly layouts or to your English version, same thing. To So to your daily A6 where there's no weekly layouts, they made this book as a companion. It's teeny tiny, you guys. If you just need your weeks of the year, this is kind of amazing. And this is the spring start. So you can see it says spring on it, weekly, 2019. And all this is, it gives you a look at 2019 and then it goes into your week. It's spring start, so it's an April start. And you have the same kind of weekly layout except they have three tick boxes up here at the top of every day. It's tiny, you guys. I mean, look at it next to the pen in my hand. It's tiny. But if you just need a like a weekly look and somewhere to write something small, you also get a monthly view and they circle the month you're on right down there. And they tell you what week of the year they're on, the same type of things that are in their bigger books. But you just, all it is, is all your weeks for the year. I think this is kind of a genius little teeny tiny book. And then you have literally like three, four note pages at the end and that's it. Nothing else. This cover seems like it will hold up well that if you spill anything on it. Um, and it's just called like their little weekly booklet. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and hanging in with me on this long Hobonichi video. As you can tell, I am excited to start on my second year journey with Hobonichis and try this out and see what I end up using. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Happy planning and I'll see you next time.